So Instagram is one of my favorite applications to use, and you may be completely new to this specific, you know, application. So let me go and break down exactly how to use it if you're very new to it. Now, I will say things have changed quite a bit. So for even from last year, there's a lot of new features added. So if you're very new to Instagram and you haven't downloaded it, all you want to do is make your way over to your App Store or Google Play Store, and you want to download the Instagram application. Looks like this. Tons of reviews and everything. Now, when you first create or you go into Instagram, you will have to create an account. So I'm already assuming you went through the creation of account phase. If you haven't done that yet, you just want to go and click create account and you will basically come into your main Instagram page. So from here, you may be requested to follow people or whatever, but this is what your main panel will look like. So at the very top, you'll have your Instagram logo. You will have a little plus button, which if you click, will allow you to actually come into this panel, which will allow you to post stories and posts and reels and all these other things. We'll just go and skip this for now. You can click the X button up here. You have the like button, which will show you people who followed you, people who've liked your photos or whatever. All of that information will show up right here. You can go and click back and you can also see that DM little messenger icon. Now that is actually your messaging icon, which actually allows you to message people if you want. So from this, this panel has also gotten a few updates as well. So if you ever wanted to message somebody, you can click on the top right, three dots up here, you can search through your messages. This new Instagram feature, which is notes, actually allows you to go ahead and basically kind of leave like a tweet up at the top and it allows you to go and share with other people that you know. It's actually a cool thing. It kind of flopped a little bit. It doesn't really seem like anybody's using it anymore, but it's still a cool feature. And anybody that you DM or anything will also come down here and there's also some suggestions down there as well. So some pretty cool stuff. If we go and hop back out, you will see that we have our top panel up here. So these are stories. So people who've posted stories, if they're friends or celebrities, they will all post their stories up here. So these are basically not like posts. These are just, you know, posts that just go up for 24 hours and are deleted after. So if I were to go ahead and if I were to go ahead and open up one of these, let's say I open up offsets, you know, Instagram page, right? So we will basically see this photo, you know, very interesting, very sad situation as well, but you'll basically be able to see the story. Now, if you want to stop it, you can, put, you know, kind of hold it down for a second. In four hours, though, this post will be deleted. So you have to keep that in mind in four hours. Every 24 hours, these posts get deleted unless they delete it themselves. You can like the story. You can send a message and respond back to the story by swiping up. You can also go ahead and, you know, DM or send the story out to another people. And basically, you can add your own story as well by clicking the plus button. So that's just with the top portion. It's pretty wild. Now, at the very, you know, middle, this is where you can go and scroll through. And you will see so many other stories and posts that people are posting. So these posts live forever. You can scroll through them and just keep scrolling. If you want to like a post, all you have to do if you want to show gratitude, just go and you can click the like button or you can double tap on the photo like this. And you'll be able to like the photo. You can also leave a comment if you want by clicking on the comment button here. You'll be able to comment on this photo if you want. You can hop back out. And you can also DM this specific photo to another person if you want to send it to a friend or whoever. You can go and do that here too, which is really cool. You can also bookmark the story or this post by clicking right here. You can unbookmark it by there as well. And you can also swipe through the photos as well. So if there's multiple photos, you can just swipe through like this. And you'll be able to tell if there's multiple photos because there's a little panel at the very bottom. So... If you ever want to make your way over to an Instagram page, you can also just click on their profile name up here. And if you ever want to go back home, you can just click the home button and it'll take you here. So that pretty much covers it up for this first panel. Now, if you ever wanted to go ahead and search for somebody else, there's a lot of different tabs down here. So the second tab will allow you to do that. So this search button will basically allow you to go ahead and essentially, you know, pretty much allow you to search for things you can, this is like an explore page. So you can scroll through here and if there's things that you're interested in, it will go ahead and show it to you. So if you want to see Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner, you'll basically see that here and it'll get smarter the more you kind of go through it. Now, if you want to search for somebody, you can always click the search button up here. And you can search for someone. So in this case, I'll just go and search for myself for my other account. So I'll just go and click my name up here and it'll already start suggesting it, but you can also just go through and see what else they suggest here. So here, if you want to click, you can click on the person's name up here and you'll be able to see basically all their information and you can go ahead and like their photos. You can like their posts. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do. And that's basically all you're going to have to do. So that is basically the search button. Now this middle button is Instagram Reels. So this is essentially like a like TikTok alternative. So if TikTok ever gets banned or whatever, You'll basically be able to see this specific you know page like this and it's honestly very cool so what you can do here is if you want to it's the same exact process if you want to like a photo you can just double tap it if you want to comment on it you can comment on it right there if you want to send it whatever 
there's a lot of different things you have the capability of doing. So that is something that's really awesome. So from here, all you're going to have to do is just pretty much swipe through and you can see more photos. Now this shopping tab is something that I think is about to get deleted. It looks like nobody used it. But if you ever wanted to go shopping on Instagram, you have the capability here. And this last page is your profile page. So this will go ahead and show you all of your photos, all of your videos, all your information. It'll also show you people, like it'll show your profile page, any links you have associated here, your following, your following number, all these different things. And you can always access your actual information within your Instagram page by clicking on the top three lines up here. So this will take you into your account information page. So here what you can do is you can see your scheduled contact, your activity, insights, so much other information here too. So all you want to do here is you want to go and click on settings and you can go and get and you can go and get access straight into your specific, you know, settings application. So this is honestly really cool because you can see all sorts of information here. You can go into privacy and if you ever have any issues with, you know, Instagram or you need help, you can always click on the help button here which will allow you to get a little bit more help within Instagram. You can also click on account. So account is going to bring you into this little page and it's going to show you more information. You can always go through here. I would recommend going through these specific panels because it will help you kind of understand this application a little bit more. Now, if we go back home, like I mentioned before, you can just click this home button. If you go ahead and swipe to the side, it will get into your post panel. So if you ever wanted to post something on Instagram, let's say you want to post a photo you just take, you just, you just taken, you can click on the post button here and you can go ahead and find that photo. So let's say I really want to share this photo out. I think people are going to love it and I just want people to see it. Well, what I can do is I can go and click on that photo right there. And I can go and click on, I can edit this you know, photo by clicking next. It'll allow me to add a filter if I want to. And I will say some of these filters are actually pretty decent. Like this one's not that bad. You can add a filter if you want. You can then go and click next and you can go and post this photo if you want to. So you can add a song if you want. You can add a location. There's so many things you can do. And if you click share, that's going to go ahead and share this photo out to everybody. So just make sure you do actually have your specific captions if you want if you want to post it somewhere else too you have the capability here as well so you can always link it up and it's actually a pretty cool thing now if you want to swipe back out if you want to cancel it you swipe back out just like this just like so you click this card go click the x button but if we do it one more time we swipe back you can also post a story so like i said these stories get deleted after 24 hours so if you want you can go and just take a story like this you can go and zoom in by swiping up zoom out you can also flip the camera by clicking on that bottom right button. And whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and edit this up as well. So if you want to add a filter, it's pretty much the same thing as the other one. You can also add a sticker. You can also add a sticker by clicking on the sticker option here and basically bringing in a sticker, which is pretty cool. You can also click in the text portion and you can bring in text if you want to as well, which is another really cool thing. So you can just quickly bring in text, you know, no big deal either. And if you want, I mean, this panel, I would say, arguably gets the most amount of updates, more than the posts, more than the reels. There are so many cool features and so many things that people love doing and posting stories about. And this is it, well, probably one of the most used features within Instagram. Now, you can also add the little spotlight thing if you want to add an effect. There's a lot of cool little effects you can add as well. So that's another cool thing. And if you're done, you can just click cancel or done. And then you can go and click this little next button. And you can go and share this story onto your story. So all you have to do here is click share. And that is all you're going to have to do. If you want to discard it, you can just click here, or you can just click this little back button, click discard, and that is it. You can go and click the X button here, and it'll bring you back into your main page. So that is basically it. It's a really basic thing for the most part. It's not really a crazy how or hard application to understand, but that is pretty much how it's used. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.